I honestly have no idea how to classify this game. From what I can tell, it borrows somewhat from the RPG aesthetic with the top-down perspective and the way everything looks and navigates, but I'm not quite sure what Fairy Dust story is all about. I've gathered that the game opens with an idle and a whopping five-minute unskippable music video, as well as the fact that you play a teenage girl whisked from her world and dropped into a fantasy world. Other than that, I've got nothing. You wander around the world, bumping into random people and beings and having brief conversations, but I found no menus or battling whatsoever. Even the conversations are left mostly to text, although a handful do have actual voice tracks that include a large icon in the lower right calling out the fact that voice is being played. You also wander into a bunch of people's houses, some empty and some not, but you never do anything in them. I found a blacksmith that had no weapons for me, thugs that didn't want to fight, and even a fairy that I thought for sure would trigger some plot but ended up doing nothing but talking to me. I couldn't even find an inventory menu or anything. I have honestly no idea what this game is or is supposed to be. Based on pure speculation from what I saw, I can commend the game for clearly being focused on a young female audience. In 1990, it was rare to see a game that catered to young females, although it's still a bit discouraging that it feels a lot like my first RPG in many ways. As usual, I found almost nothing on this game, and I found it unplayable without the knowledge of the Japanese language. I have to admit, though, there's a good chance knowing Japanese may not further my understanding of this game. I'm betting it's an overlooked title both when it came out, and today, even in Japan. <laughs>